All right, welcome back to another Django tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to set up our static files, our CSS or JavaScript files for development. Um, we're just going to focus on development. When we get to the deployment stage, we'll have to uh, set up our static files a little differently. But right now, we're just focusing on development. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a uh, static file on the same level as blog and CMS. We're going to set a path to that so Django can find that. And then we're going to include some CSS and JavaScript files. And then we are going to um, move on to the next tutorial. Uh, anyway, um, so Django, normally we would, well, Django, if you go to Django Project and uh, How To Static Files, they want you to put your static files in your app. So that means inside my blog. Um, if I have, I have a tendency to build a lot of apps into my projects um, to do different things, even though this level so far in our tutorials we've only built a blog. Um, if you start putting static files in every one of them, for example, if we're using Bootstrap and we put Bootstrap into every single app and we had 10 apps, that's a lot of files. So what I tend to do is if I'm building a project, I kind of want that project to look uh, similar across the board, right? So what I'm going to do is put my static file out here on the same level as blog and CMS so they have access to that and we can actually just build our design off of one CSS file versus having 10 separate CS CSS files. So that's what we're going to do in today's tutorial. So how do we do that? Well, if you go to your uh, settings.py file, open that up, come down to the bottom. We're going to put in a uh, static file dirs um, variable. And what happens is when Django runs through this app uh, right here, Django contrib static files, it's going to look for um, our static files. And when it comes across static file dirs, it's going to say, oh, what's the path to your new static files? And that's how it finds it. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go static files underscore dirs, and then we're going to set that equal to a tuple. All right. So in here we got to have we got to give the path to our um, location of where our static file is going to be located. So we're going to do os dot path dot join, and then in here we do base dir right there, and then what we're doing is base dir is all the way at the top here, and this is set by Django. Base dir, and base dir is the location of our CMS up here. All right, so all the way back down here, we want to join something to that. We're going to put a string in here, and we're going to say static. So this is going to be our new directory that we're going to create up here in a moment, and that's going to be the location of our CMS and JavaScript. All right, so let's go ahead and create that file. Up here, new folder, create a file called static boom same level all right pretty cool right uh anyhow in here let's create two more directories while we're creating stuff we're going to do css and we're going to do javascript js boom all right cool so we've done that now we just need some javascript and css files to put in there so open up your browser and create an, open a new tab and we're going to go to uh, get bootstrap.com because we're going to use bootstrap so as it goes over there means slow slow moving today all right get started we'll click on get started and we're going to go down we're going to go to examples And where the hell are my examples? There we go. Then we're going to get the starter template. And we're just going to grab some standard CSS crap. Right click, page source. I'm going to go and click on the first one, bootstrap min.css. Click on that. And when that comes up, I'm going to go ahead and hit command S. And what command S is going to do is allow me to save this file. So I'm going to go ahead and to my that was my desktop. 
Anyway, we're going to go into my system. Tom, desktop, where are you? There you are. Anyhow, this is taking longer than I thought it was going to. So I go into my blog, and then into my CMS, and then into my static, and then into my CSS, and we'll save that file. All right, I hope you guys got that. Uh, I probably hasn't, I haven't opened that in a while. Anyhow, <clears throat> we're gonna do the same thing for viewport. <clears throat> and I'm gonna hit Command S, and this time it should be set up properly. There we go. So now we can start whizzing through this. I'm gonna save that file. And then back in here, we're gonna need, we don't need starter template because I don't want my site to look like their site. We're gonna need uh, the Internet Explorer uh, emulation models, modes, I mean, warnings. And we'll go ahead and put it in here. So we'll do the same thing, but this time we're gonna put it in a JavaScript, so Command S. And do, do, do. Oops. we're gonna go back one right here static JavaScript we'll save it in there cool and then back down here we'll come here we need bootstrap um, we'll hard code um, jQuery into our site um, through through Google so we can grab it from Google um, might as well use their resources, not our own resources. Anyhow, um, so we're going to need bootstrap min JS. So we'll grab that and do the same thing we did before. So once that pops up, we hit command S or control S, depending on your operating system. And we'll save that into JavaScript. And we got one more down there that we need to grab. And that's the IE 10 viewport bug workaround. Do the same thing. <clears throat> Boom. Save that. Throw it in there. Bang. Boom. Done. All right. Anyhow, now we got all the files we need. If you open up your text editor, you'll s click on CSS. You see we got two CSS files and three um, JavaScript files. Cool. Now what do we need to do? Well, now we need to open our blog templates, and then we're going to go to base HTML. All right. So in here, we need to incorporate our, our required um, CSS and JavaScript files. So... Uh, if you're new to uh, HTML or CSS, just follow along. But um, what we need to do is incorporate our files. So we use a link tag. Um, then we'll do a rel style sheet. Oops, should be in the string. Style sheet. And then type. And this is going to be text. CSS and then uh, href and then in here we put our actual location and we close it out like that. I'm gonna need how many CSS files we have. Where do we go? There's uh, two CSS files, so we're gonna need two of these. All right. Two of those, I really like to put a comment where my CSS files are because this does get a bit, uh, when you have a big project, a bit bulky. So I put a comment, CS, CSS style there. Close out that comment. And then down here, we're going to need I think one JavaScript. Uh, hold on. Yeah, we're gonna need the uh, one JavaScript for internet for the um, Internet Explorer. So JS. Normally, your JS files go down at the bottom of your file, but for this reason, we need to include a JavaScript file here to work with Internet Explorer. So we'll put script type is equal to string of text. Java, yeah, I'm dragging today, script, and then in here we're going to say source, whoops, source, and then there, and then like that. And then we have to close out our script like that. 
Alright, so we'll, we'll import, put all this stuff in here in a second. Now I have two JavaScript files, I believe, at the bottom. So down here, we'll put one, two, and we're also going to have to grab, go back to this page real quick, open source, view page source, we need to grab uh, jQuery. So we'll just copy that. Boom, like that. Go back into your document. Right above where we put script, import, uh, put in our jQuery here. And we'll just grab that from Google. Okay, so let's go ahead and put in the pass. Well, how do we do that? Well, Django has, um, in their template system, they have a uh, file that will load, or a tag that says load static. All right, so we'll go ahead and put load static, load static. Well, basically what this does is down here when we put in our path we can say static and it will just load the path to that static file. So in here curly brace, oops, one curly brace and then our trusty percent symbols and then we're going to say static. Alright, so static is loading the path, so load static is loading static, the path. All right. So in here let's do CSS and just let me slide that over for a second and see what our it's bootstrap min.css. So bootstrap min.css. We'll go ahead and save that. Uh, down here we need another CSS file, which is i10 viewport. So we'll just go like this. We'll copy this so we don't type this out every time. Go down here, paste this, and now we're just going to change this path or this name right here. And it's IE10 hyphen viewport something bug workaround CSS. Bug workaround CSS. All right. And then for the JavaScript, we need to throw a JavaScript up here, and that was the emulation modes. So we'll do the same thing here. We'll grab this, put that in here, and this time we're going to do JS, and then we'll change the name here. I need to hold one here, and this is uh, I E emulation emulation modes. Warning. Warning. Js. Yep. So, and then down here we'll do. Um, what the heck do we have to put down here? We got to put Bootstrap. So, again, just paste static again down here. Js, and then we'll do Bootstrap min Bootstrap min.js and then here we'll paste another one in here and this time we'll do js and we'll do the last javascript file which is which one was that? i what the heck did i do no i yeah I sorry guys, I'm just dragging today. IE 10 viewport bug workaround dot js. There we go. All right, so we got all these files added in. Um, now we got to make sure they work, that they're linked up properly. So let's make sure we do that before we move on to the next tutorial. So go ahead and um, if your server's not running, which mine isn't, run your server. And we're going to go in here to our second post and we're going to uh, refresh. Now, since we don't have classes and all the HTML set up properly, the CSS might not show up. Is my server running? Come on. Uh, so our design's not going to show up yet. So we'll do that in the next tutorial. But we want to make sure we have access to our CMS files. So let's get our CSS files. Um, and to do that is simple. We just see we see our uh, URL there. We we'll click on static, and make sure we see some kind of CSS in here. 
A server error occurred, please contact the minister. Trader. Uh, what am I going to contact myself? What the hell happened there? Interesting. I've never seen that message before. What in the hell? Uh, since this is a tuple, this should have a comment. A comma. Not a comment. Comma. Anyhow, let's refresh this and see if that works. Oh, there we go. There's our viewport. All right. And if we come here and we click on Bootstrap Min CSS, that should work as well. Boom. There's our CSS. So now we have access to all our files. Just go through and check all of them. It's the process I always do. Make sure we can get Google. We got Google. Check bootstrap min. That's it. Min JS. Got it. So if you see something showing up here that looks like JavaScript or CSS, you have access to it. Now you can style your page. So what we did in today's tutorial was basically uh, you watch me set up um, the CSS and JavaScript. It was probably really boring because who wants to do this? We really just want to build some cool uh, apps here or websites. So static files, there's in development, help us find our static file. Um, and all we did was include our actual files here and we use load static to load the path using static and then we load our files here. All right, so that's what we did. In the next tutorial, we'll actually set up the design for um, our site and any other requirements we need to do. Then we'll jump back in Django and we'll never look at styling a web uh, styling with Bootstrap again.